What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Hailstorm. Yes, indeed. Hailstorm fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bot, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This is a request from John C. And it was also the winner of the Patreon request prioritization poll, winning with 45% of the vote. Moving up for number 434 in the queue, straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. They all want to see me react to this song by Hailstorm called Rock Show. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, ah, seriously? Seriously, this is that song? I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by uh, Dennis Tig, I think. D-E-N-E-S-T-Y-G-G. -E Dennis Tig. Let, let's go with that. And the video has three million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Hailstorm, rock show, lyrics. Okay. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Like it loud, come alive in the middle of a crowd. You wanna scream, you wanna shout, get excited when the lights go down at the rock show. You'll be right in the front row, heart and soul, they both know it's way. Catchy. Definitely catchy. Um, that progression, I believe that's the chorus. We've heard it twice now. First time with the organ alone. That was interesting. Uh, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of it, but I mean, I, I, I see why they did it. 
they wanted to make it separate. They wanted to they wanted to have a difference between the first chorus and the second chorus. I, I get it. I, I I do get it. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of it, um, but I understand. I, I I do understand why they did it. Um, that chordal progression C up to the E up to the G down to the D. Um, it's a very common riff. It, it's not an uncommon riff at all. You hear a lot of songs use maybe not those exact same chords, but that same progression, starting at the six, going up to the eight. Going up to the eleven and then down to the seven. I mean, you you hear that a lot, or you'll hear the or you hear a play on it. Well, they'll go, you know, six down to the one, up to the three, and then either up to the seven or down to the seven underneath the one. Um, you'll hear that it'll be in different keys. You know, it doesn't have to be in the key of E, uh, but you'll hear that progression a lot. It's it's a very common progression. The reason it's so common. It's catchy. It's pleasing to the ear, um, especially since it gives that ability to resolve from the seven as the final chord and resolve back to the one again. Um, very pleasing to the ear. So it's it's smart. It's smart songwriting. Um, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. Are you kidding? Wow. Wow. They're going to end on the six. Okay. I mean, <laughs> a little predictable, if I'm being honest. I, I kind of saw that coming. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, it's fine. It, it's fine. It's just a little predictable. Um,. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Hailstorm with Rock Show. This was a request from John C., and it was also the winner of the Patreon Request Prioritization Poll, winning with 45% of the vote, uh, moving up from number 434 in the queue straight up to number one. So, yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. Okay, um, I thought about it. Didn't have to think very long. The score came to be pretty quick, and there honestly is not a whole lot to talk about. So this is probably going to be a quick review. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.4. Yep, 8.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? When it comes to songs, man, this song is very straight ahead. I mean, there really isn't a whole lot of complexity happening within this song. It's a pretty much straight ahead rock tune. Um, I will say the chorus is catchy, and the reason it is catchy is because it's a very popular riff that they took and they just utilized for the purpose of this song. The six to the one to the three down to the seven. Back to the six, <laughs> up to the one, 
back up to the three, down to the seven, giving it the opportunity to resolve to the root, back to the one again. Um, very nice, very catchy. A lot of songs have used that same riff structure. Not the same key. Sometimes they'll do it in A. Sometimes they'll do it in F sharp. Sometimes they'll do it in D. Sometimes they'll do it in B. These guys just happen to do it in E, okay? And it's probably the most common, but it's okay. It still works. Look, <laughs> you have a formula that you discovered that works for so many other bands. You're going to take that same formula and apply it to a song and make it work for you. Do I have a problem with that? Absolutely not. We are all thieves, and we will all steal from each other. And more than likely, there's going to be bands out there that's gonna, they're going to steal something from Hailstorm because they hear it work for them. So let's try to use it for us too. You know what I mean? So I got no issue with that whatsoever. Um, vocally, very strong performance from Lizzie on this. Uh, it sounded really good. Uh, some great high note usage. Uh, never sounding thin, never sounding weak, never sounding nasally. Just sounded strong across the board. I got no issue with it. Um, the choruses. The variations in the chorus, I think were probably the most ear catching thing to me in all honesty. I mean, they, they did a great job. Even the first chorus. Now look, I said I was not a big fan of what they did. And I stand by that. I'm not, personally, I, I didn't really dig the first chorus. I, I thought it was a little self-serving, I guess. A, a little, I don't know. It, it just sounded thin. It sounded a little hollow. It sounded, it, it sounded like it could have been a lot fuller. You're relying on a pipe organ patch. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But... I got to give them credit for having the vision to see the need to diversify and to make all three courses sound different. So I got to give them credit for it. I may not like it, but I give them credit for it and I give them props for doing it. So there you go. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's not a complex song in any way, shape or form, but it is a straight ahead rock and tune. Great feel. Great energy, um, some great diversity within the chorus. And like I said, they discovered that formula that absolutely worked for them with that chorus. So yeah, got, I cannot take anything away from them. I honestly have no complaints about the song other than the first chorus, but that's just personal taste. You know, I just, I wasn't a big fan of it personally, but it's not like they did anything wrong. They didn't do anything bad. It's just me personally, I didn't like it, but you know, that's, that's the beauty of having an opinion, isn't it? Now look, they did a great job with the song. It sounded great. I got no issue with it. I got no complaints. So 8.4, I feel good with that score. And that's where we're going to stay. So 8.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job. And I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.